Jim Canarium here. We're at Miss Scarlett's Blue Ribbon Farm. I'm the president of the Cape and Islands Farm Bureau. Last night we had a little incident at the farm because of the weather. There's been a lot of issues with weather this past winter, hurting and damaging a lot of farmers' greenhouses and blowing things around. But last, because of the weather, you can see here we have what's called an electric fence and it's solar, all this great modern technology. You gotta have sunlight to solar the, to power the batteries. We haven't had the sunlight that we've needed to keep them so they don't, so they zap them to keep them away from the fence and they got away and they pushed the gate out and they went and visited the street last night. And we had three wonderful police officers here from the town of Yarmouth, they were great. Uh, the one guy was from Western Mass, he was a farmer and he knew how to catch the pigs up and 10 minutes later I came and put them away and we haven't had any problems with it. This Berkshire weighs about 500 pounds. That large black Berkshire cross weighs, she's probably 300 pounds. And that Yorkshire Berkshire cross weighs about 350 pounds. They're all, these, this, she's a sow, these are gilts. Gilts are a female pig that hasn't had babies. And she'll, they all have babies in March or April. Uh, they enjoyed their little job, you know, they just, they're large animals. What most people don't realize when an animal gets loose, when pigs or cows or ducks or geese and things, don't honk the horn, don't flash a flashlight, don't run at them with a stick. If you leave them be, they'll stay right where they're at and the farmers can come right up and get them caught up. They were born and raised here on the farm and there's a lot of people on Cape Cod that raise pigs and, and being the president of the Cape and Islands Farm Bureau, there are a lot of animals that get loose and that goes with farming and the community needs to to realize that, that animals get loose, animals run around, animals poop, their smell, there's nothing pretty about farming, but you certainly get a better nutritional product in the long run. All right. So buy fresh, buy local, get smart, get local. And this summer, get fresh with a local farmer.